I am from New York City. My name is Mike, and I am a musician. I play saxophone, soprano saxophone. And I go around the world teaching people how to do sustainable stuff, like build earth houses, and, and alternate energy, and grow your own food, and stuff like that. So that's, that's who I am. And I'm mixing them all together, and, and I'm building a boat, which is behind you, and it's a, it's a boat made out of all the garbage from this civilization. Basically, uh, the idea about this boat project is to make a, 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 a vessel that is totally um, powered by the elements. So there's, we use solar and we're using wind and we're using the, the motion of the water for kinetic energy. So it's basically teaching people how to use, go back to nature to, to solve problems, yes? And we call this Fukushima Boat Project because Fukushima is the beginning of the end of our, of our species. This particular civilization, which is 10,000 years old, is out of resources. We're, we're running out of resources. And so <clears throat> it's time for people to learn how to go back to what you were taught not to know. You know, you, when you're born, you have certain things that are ingrained in your DNA, like it, so you can be symbiotic with your, the planet that you're from. But this system isn't about that. That system is about consuming. Everything is based on oil, and the financial system is based on enslaving you. So when you have to pay to exist, yes, you're a slave. Mm -hmm. And now that financial system is going to crash because it was based on non-sustainability and the resources aren't there, and based on non-sustainability and the depletion of resources. But now the resources are, are, are becoming less and less because we've used them all up to build all these big buildings and stuff that we're using. And so that's um, why people have to learn how to, to, to live back to the old ways, yes? The first thing that you can do to change that doesn't cost is get some seeds and grow something. <laughs> grow something, uh, you know, start investigating alternate ways of doing things because, the, see, you have to say it, the financial situation is about to totally collapse globally. And when that happens, you're going to have all these people who have been living in this kind of servitude to money is it, you know, you can't live without money in this, right? They're going to find themselves with no jobs, no way of getting food. It, 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 could, it could very well be very, very, very bad. And, and, and the, obviously governments know all of this because they're, they're putting in, their police are militarized. They're mili every, around the world, police are being militarized. Why? Because they know that the financial system is going to crash and there's going to be a lot of civil unrest. So the one thing that you can do to avoid is get together in small groups and start to do something like grow food. And on a web page, Bankster Attack, we have stuff where you can have, um, you can learn how to like, build your own house, you make a, a sterling engine, you know, stuff like that, stuff that, that, that doesn't cost money. Yeah. It takes more energy to be fucked up and aggressive and angry because you, everybody's angry to be in the system. Don't you see all of the 
tension that people are always like ready to fight and scream and shit. It takes more energy to do that than it does to be nice and laugh and have a good time. It's, it's actually gives you more energy when you laugh or smile or when you see somebody on the street say good morning hello how are you you know or something like that kids got to learn that and the only way they can learn it is if, if they get to participate yeah so it's going back to nature wondering about how magnificent this all works you can't fight this you can't you're part of it they gotta go they gotta learn that Enjoy nature, the sand, the, 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 the trees, even, I'm here with rats. And they're part of nature, I don't want to, yeah, I just don't want them to leave me alone when I'm trying to get my shit done. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs>